Donkey of the Day for Monday, May 14th goes to a sexuality expert named Deanne Carson. Now, Donkey of the Day is a segment that is designed to give people the credit they deserve for being stupid. And let me tell you something. This story right here is by far the stupidest thing I have seen in a long time. And we live in an era of highly stupid things. So that's saying a lot. Okay, now I have no idea what qualifies the end to be a sexuality expert. Hell, who am I fooling? I don't even know what a sexuality expert does. Okay, I'm assuming she's an expert on other people's sexualities. I don't know, sexual behaviors. Like she can just look at someone and tell if they're gay or straight or bi or pan or stir fry sexual, whatever. Whatever your sexuality is. Uh, Deanne is an expert at it all, I guess. I don't know what a sexuality expert is. And after this hot take that Deanne is presenting to the planet, I don't care what a sexuality expert is because I hate PC culture. PC culture is destroying the world. Everyone is trying to be so politically correct to the point that we are all lying to ourselves and we are all telling each other what we think we want to hear instead of what we need to hear. And sexuality expert Deanne has presented something to us that we don't want, <laughs> nor do we need. See, Deanne is giving us parents tips on how to raise our children, specifically how to raise them to know that consent matters. Okay, Deanne is stupidly suggesting that parents ask their infant children for consent to change their diapers. What? I repeat, mm -mm -mm. Deanne is stupidly suggesting that parents ask their infant children for consent to change their diapers. I can't even make this kind of ignorance up. Let's go to the Today Show Australia for the report, please. A sexuality expert claims parents must ask permission before changing <laughs> their child's nappy. Deanne Carson believes consent must be given by the child before their dirty nappy is removed. Here she is on the ABC suggesting how to go about it. I'm going to change your nappy now, is that OK? Of course the baby's not going to respond, yes, Mum, that's awesome, I'd love to have my nappy changed. But if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. Ms Carson has defended her comments saying, the idea around consent is about empowering children with their rights and protecting them from sexual abuse. This sounds ridiculous. This is stupid. So what if the baby says no? And you can't change them? Then they have to well, sit there. The baby can't say no because it's an infant. <laughs> uh, let the record show this woman, Deanne, looks like she has yeah. never got her club shot up. She looks like she has zero children, and she sounds like she has zero children. I guarantee this woman has never changed a diaper before in her life because no one who has kids, who has watched a child and changed the diaper, would ever fix their mouth to say, you have to ask the baby for consent to change their diapers. And this is where the logic is so flawed. Listen to what she told Australia's Nine Network again. Listen. I'm going to change your nappy now. Is that OK? Of course, the baby's not going to respond. Yes, Mum, that's awesome. I'd love to have my nappy changed. But if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. So body language and eye contact is consent now? You say you're teaching your child about consent and you're telling mm -hmm. us as parents, hey, of course the baby's not going to respond, but if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. Well, let me tell you why that logic is flawed, because what you're essentially saying is that body language and eye contact is what constitutes consent. Can I, as an adult, use body language and eye contact to justify consent when I'm with another adult? Huh? This is a slippery slope, Deanne. All right? Think about what you're saying. Does this just apply to infants? Because as an adult, I know yes means yes, no means no, and not getting an answer means no as well. Consent is yes. Our clear-cut body language, like the young lady takes my clothes off, grabs my penis, and puts it in her, okay? All you adults out there don't follow Deanne's definition of consent. All right? Okay? Don't follow Deanne's definition of consent, okay? Well, you, you ask somebody based on body language and eye contact. No, okay? You make a move. No, all right? It sounds stupid for adults, and it damn sure sounds stupid to ask a child. Now, Mariah Mendez, a PhD and licensed psychotherapist, says babies really can't understand the concept of consent. Duh. <laughs> she goes on to say, oh. consent requires being able to understand a cause and effect relationship that comes with cognitive development. And she says consent is even a little vague for children between the ages of one and two. But by the time children are two years old, they can better process what they do and don't like when they say no. You can absolutely trust they mean it. My response to that is so. OK, my youngest daughter is two right now. And if I say to her, come on, let's go change your diaper. You know what she says to me most of the time? No. <laughs> but guess what? She don't know any better. So You're I'm going to jail. So I'm supposed to let the urine and feces pile up simply because her cognitive development skills haven't fully developed yet? Deanne, there's only three things to discuss here, okay? And that's A, 
should you shut up? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. A, should you shut up? Okay. Or B, should you shut the F up? Or C, should you shut the F up forever? Okay. Please give Deanne Carson the sweet sounds and the Hamiltons, please. Oh, now you are the dog. 